Welcome to ATP Report. I'm Barry Nussbaum. Today, let's start with a brief history lesson. In Shia Islam, Ashura Day is the commemoration of the death of Hussein, the grandson of Muhammad. Hussein and his rival, Yazid, fought the Battle of Karbala, and in that battle, Hussein and every member of his family were brutally slaughtered. The entire family, men, women, children, babies, aunts, uncles were all killed by the competing other Muslim group, the Sunni army. Not a religion of peace in the founding days. And since that battle in 680, it is commemorated yearly around the world by Shia Muslims remembering their sex slaughter by the leader of the Sunni Muslims. To this day, that slaughter is recreated in Tehran yearly, with blood splashed on babies in the town square to commemorate the mass murder. And I'm going to show you how this holiday is now commemorated with a march in Dearborn, Michigan, this year on September 9th. This is a Shura Day march a few months ago. Now, there are other countries that do the same thing with very large Ashura Day holidays. The countries are Afghanistan, Azerbaijan, Bahrain, Iran, Lebanon, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Iraq, India, and Indonesia, and Dearborn, Michigan. Dearborn, Michigan, ATP viewers, is the home of Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib. You know, the proudly Palestinian Congresswoman who bragged on election night that she was going to go to Washington and her first act as a Congresswoman was to impeach the mother effer, referring to President Trump. And when your son looks at you and says, Mama, look, you won, bullies don't win. And I said, baby, they don't, because we're going to go in there, we're going to impeach the mother <laughs> The same Rashida Tlaib who covered the map of Israel in her congressional office with a sticky, and they wrote Palestine over it. The same Rashida Tlaib who appears frequently with known supporters of terrorism, literally. And whose own father, Harbi al -Abed, made accusations against her at the time she was a state level representative from the 12th district in Detroit. And he reported that his daughter misrepresented her residency fraudulently when she signed an affidavit in 2008 with the Wayne County clerk claiming she was a citizen of Detroit. In that affidavit, Tlaib claimed she lived in Detroit, and the house she lived in was owned by her father. Well, that's not the way he sees it. Quote, she lied, he said. She lied big time to get elected. I never teach her that way. I teach her the right way. It's my house. She didn't live there. She lived in Dearborn in her house with her husband and boy. Gets better. The Office of Congressional Ethics has now referred to Lieb to the House Ethics Committee for campaign finance violations. An investigation has now been opened, and part of the evidence includes messages sent by Congresswoman Tlaib asking for money from her campaign finance accounts for her to spend on personal stuff. Her treasurer, her campaign manager, and a campaign staffer, and her, have all refused to cooperate with the Office of congressional ethics. And today I'll leave you with this gem about her. She has a friend, Ibrahim al Jahim, a Muslim immigrant from Yemen, who was just charged by the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office for raping a special needs teenager outside of his high school. al Jahim is a Democrat Party activist in Michigan. He regularly hobnobs with Democrat political leaders in and around Michigan. He's been seen socializing with AOC, Hillary Clinton, Nancy Pelosi, and recently campaigned on behalf of Bernie Sanders. He appears with Rashida Tlaib, as you can see. Maybe this is the reason why the mainstream media has ignored this story. Fellow Americans, this is not just in Europe. It's not just London. It's not just all over the Middle East. This is Dearborn, Michigan, the heartland of America, the home of tens of thousands of GM workers and where my godfather used to live. Quite frankly, I'm glad he's not here to see what has happened to his town. I wanted you to know.
because maybe you want to do something about it. Please subscribe to our text message service by sending the word TRUTH to 88202. TRUTH, send it to 88202. You'll be automatically signed up for our text message service. It's always free and you'll get our daily shows and articles on your phone for no cost. For ATP Report, I'm Barry Newsbaum.